Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting it. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is it that computer programmers, from your perspective, software engineers and developers, just get that other people don't? Problem solving, uh, s divide and conquer, uh, and uh, structured thinking, I suspect. These are the things. These are the mental tools that a software developer gets uh, has that most regular people don't have uh, a lot of, uh, which is, it's sort of alien to a lot of people, I find, that different people have brains that work in different ways and that some things come very intuitively to some people and some things don't really get there so intuitively and it's very difficult for I think that I, honestly I suspect that that is probably one of the great dividers of humanity that you don't realize that what is obvious and simple to you is not obvious and simple to the next person and your expectations as I like to say is that the world is supposed to be not something that it's not and a lot of hum a lot of people's personal frustration my, my own included at times because I mean I'm not a Zen master so of course I get tired as well of these sorts of problems the the reality is that the world is not made of amazing super smart people ex exclusively it's made of a range of different types of people with different motivations and different ways of thinking etc etc and uh, i like to call it structured chaos where the only thing that is certain is that there is always a pattern to everything but the thing that is silly is to think that there is such a thing as a golden like a that there's going to be some type of rule that always stays same for stays the same for every person some things are of course always in the same but for a lot of it's when it's sort of like marketing i would argue marketing is a numbers game there are things that are common to all people and therefore you can create marketing strategies and so forth that is going to work on a range of different people but it's all a, it's a numbers game if you have enough people you're bound to hit a few of the people actually touch a few of the people's uh, you know make it resonate with them whatever you're doing right but to get a sing like target a single individual it's actually surprisingly difficult or like a range of very specific individuals uh, you really have to get to know their value system and that's where I think that software developers are truly different from how most people are uh, the reason being simply that if you are supposed to survive as a software developer the first thing you need to learn is to as I like to say learn how to Google you need to have to you need to have the ability to realize that you have a problem and then figure out a good a sufficient uh, efficient strategy to solve that problem you will be surprised at how few people know how to do that most people just don't know how to solve a problem they they don't know how to go in i mean i've had conversations with people that to me seemed like they were mentally challenged uh, because I, c I, c I tried to get them to understand that you know if you don't know something you could search for it on the internet if you you could go to the library which is what we did before we had the internet like you could ask someone with more knowledge than you and this is like and they get stressed over the fact that they seem like uh, and like because their mind is simply not capable of thinking about something like that it seemed at the very least I had uh, this is my favorite thing to if I'm gonna bash talk people in product development which is not something I usually do but uh, one of the things that I, as a concrete example on this which is the as I like to say this is the proof it's all the proof that I need that as a software developer when you think that your job is something it's really not it is whatever people need you to do for them and that sucks and the only time it's not the case that that is how it works is when you're in a position of power or like something where you can actually push back so you know that term that product people love which is called being data driven I have to this day never worked with a product owner who knew how to use Google Analytics 
on the uh, when they start at the job or any analytics tool whatsoever they don't know how to use any of the standard metrics systems that are used to be data driven imagine that their entire like a lot of basically all of what they do is revolving around the fact that they need to deliver like product value yet the currently most trending way of doing that which is the thing that everybody's supposed to be doing it which is to be data driven to make informed decisions based on proof rather than gut feeling and the most of them don't even know how to figure that out and so what they usually do is that uh, i see this all the time usually my team of engineers gets a request like a, an actual story in our backlog to go and set up a dashboard in google analytics for the product owner because for some reason this person is incapable of learning that by themselves or rather no it's not actually that they're incapable it is that their mentality is that they should not have to learn this because it's what computery stuff or it's something that forces them to do something they don't want so they misuse their influence or like i don't know what what to call it uh, and make it the software developer's job who is as i said the sort of person who will actually think about okay how do i solve this problem all right i need to go and learn this and this and that and do some research and they go and do it and they get shit done that is one of the things that a software developer truly has that most human like most average people do not have this uh, uh, sales people uh, are the worst at this. I like, truly despise people who do this, where the they are for they are faced with uh, a challenge where it's actually the best thing for everybody is if they sit down, shut their fucking mouth, and learn the thing, but they won't because they think that they can talk their way through any situation. And as I've said in a few videos, I have a social fantasy that one day I will go and work for one of these really prestigious, super big companies. The sort of companies where if a smaller company gets their contract, it basically makes or breaks their entire business. And then sit in just sales pitch meetings with uh, like their sales reps who are going to sell me software. And then I will eat them alive. Because I've so far been in so many sales meetings and like people with technical, so-called technical knowledge and architects who describe things that way I can hear, like this person doesn't know the first thing about any of this. They don't know nothing. The only reason they're getting this meeting is because we need, the, like the, so the, the reason is because the person on the other side is also ignorant of uh, how engineering works and all this stuff and when you have someone who knows what they're actually saying it becomes very difficult for you to uh, to answer questions or rather it's very difficult because the questions are actually relevant and not like these high and fluffy things other things that software developers do really well is the device as a divide and conquer mentality where you have or it's or more i'm not saying structured thinking but it's sort of the same sort of thing where you realize that okay you have this big problem you need to solve this big in thing and you slice it up into smaller sub problems and then you arrange them in a way so that you see that okay if i solve this that enables me to do that and then that unblocks that it's a topological sort basically you have a, a range of things that you now need to do in a correct order and then you allocate based on like which order of things need to happen these i would say are the two or three depending on you how you look at it main differences between software engineers and uh, practically everybody else there are other people who think this way as well but it's very rare that i find that well that people have the capacity to do this uh, that's at least my experience so what I want you to take away from this is that the thing that I believe that software developers or programmers get that pe most people don't apart from the obvious thing like a computer how does it work and not all computer programmers know how the computer work by the by uh, is that they understand how to find the answer to their problems which is beyond I've found to be the norm for most people. Most people don't know how to solve a problem uh, because uh, I don't know. They can't figure out where. Like they, they seem to lack the ability to figure out what, uh, how to get the skills to find answers on the internet or like all of these sorts of like problem-solving skills that the average software developer does on a daily basis. Everything from finding, you know. Uh, a answer on Google, Stack Overflow, or you know, finding a thread somewhere where there is a bug that is similar to your problem, but it's not exactly the same thing, but that gives you enough information so that it gets you some ideas for how to solve your problem. Like you, I call them derived answers. Like you derive the answer from somebody else's thing, even though it's not a perfect match. This is a skill, and 
I, I don't know what to call it. It's something that is, I've only seen software developers be very good at this because for a lot of people, the way you solve a problem is to ask somebody else to do it for you. And that's usually is gonna like jump until you actually hit someone who knows how to do the thing right, which is not what a software developer can do. And it's this sort of like being a scientist or like any type of like you know, you you don't have anybody else to ask. It's you who's gonna have to figure out how by yourself how to make this thing work. And that's not very normal to find in normal people. And then the other thing is divide and conquer. How do you take a really big problem and structure it in such a way that it becomes very easy and you make it into smaller sub-problems? And that is pretty much, at least from my perspective, what software developers are really, really good at that most people are not. And incidentally, guys, that sort of mindset, it's a blessing and a curse because when you get really good at that stuff, the it, you, at least I've found it to be, ext it's like living in a world of goldfish sometimes, because when you have that ability and you're really good at it, everything becomes, a lot of problems become so simple for you because you don't think about them as this big, tangible, un non-understandable mess. You think of them as like just, all right, all of this stuff is irrelevant, so I can just focus on this little bit here because that is the first thing I need to do in order to get all this done, done, done right. So you don't even have to think about the whole problem. You just think about a part of the problem and while the rest of the room is trying to think about the whole problem. And that is something that will, you know, if you play your cards right, it might make you look like some type of super genius or something like that, but it's really not exclusively that. It's that you know how to structure things in a way that makes it very digestible to solve even the most complicated problems. Have a great day.